one's ever heard of with an ego seeking fame. One song hero in the shadows, no one knows his name. He needs to show you all his dreams, even though he may not know what they mean. Round and round and round. My son must be crazy. I think you might be right, Jillian. This uh, centrifuge that Virgil has built. The rapture machine. Mary, is it supposed to rotate this fast? I think so, David. He must be sick as a dog. He's been whirling around inside that thing for 20 minutes now. We should stop it. No, Miss Green, Virgil said we're not to no matter what. Getting sick is part of the performance, right, Lola? Yes, but I am getting sick just watching it. This is exactly what he wants. What do you mean, David? This is endurance art. Wankfest. It's all about the artist radically pushing their body's existential concerns into zones of extreme encounter. What? Extreme encounter? Risking his neck, tempting feet, dying with death. Death? Indeed, but it's derivative. Yes, with boredom I am oozing. Well, leave it to my old art school classmate to accidentally kill himself in a cliché performance that rehashes a lot of outmoded tropes. Fergal insisted the heart monitor controlled by his power book would keep him safe. If he dies inside that thing, I swear, I'll kill him. All going to plan, he should be entering a trance. Having a vision? A vision of what? His arse? Of the beyond. <laughs> is fantastic. Oh, I'm having a vision. I'm, I'm floating. I'm floating down a long corridor. I'm floating and oh, oh, there's a light ahead and a figure standing in the light. Ah, <laughs> welcome, welcome here, Fergal Green, the performance artist. Uh, yes, that's, that's me. <laughs> Uh, and you? Do you not recognize me from the photos in your many Dada art books? Hugo Ball. You're, you're Hugo Ball, the, yeah. the creator of performance art. Well, you know. I am so honored to meet you, sir. This is a dream come true. Indeed, Mr. Green. This is a dream. Inside your head. Inside my head? Yeah. Inside your head. <laughs> for where else can it be? Your body has been spinning around for over half an hour inside your machine. You have lost consciousness, and now you are here inside your own subconscious mind. So this is the rapture that I've been seeking. Well, it is what it is. What do I know? You're Hugo Ball. Oh, okay. I can see I must explain. Everything you see and hear now is but a projection of your own mind. Memories, feelings, fantasies, it's all up inside your head. Right. So this is all a, a, a vision, I guess. Ha, good. <laughs> I am summoned here by your own mind to confront you. Con confront me? Yeah, I just said that. Look, if you keep repeating everything I say, we are going to be here all night, and this, uh, this story has to end in 50 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. Let us proceed. <clears throat> I am that part of yourself that needs to confront the other more dirty and soiled, oozy, oozy, sticky part of yourself. Your ego, let us say. Freudian terms, I know, but hey, just deal with it. <clears throat> now, the first thing you need to see is, um, oh, let me see my notes. Uh, let's see, yes. Poor hygiene, oh, body image, oh, very bad. Oh, sex, oh, sex, more sex, more masturbation, masturbation, more masturbation. 
Ah, yes, here it is. <laughs> the first thing you need to see is one week ago at the launch of this performance art festival in which you are presently dying, uh, uh, participating. <laughs> Why do I need to see this? I don't know. It's on the list. You have to figure this out for yourself. I can't do all the work for you, even though I am you. <laughs> right. You ready? Yeah. Good. Now, just watch and learn as we cue the music and transition back to one week ago at the launch reception of this festival. So, will I be invisible or is this... Shh, shh, shh. Just watch and learn. <laughs> has returned to his native island to perform. <laughs> <laughs> and this year's theme is Hearing is Believing Festival is absolutely thrilled to have with us also the internationally renowned performance artist, designer, director, dancer, singer, choreographer, Lola Montalto. <laughs> Montalto will be performing her latest hit, Doll's House, at our festival. Very exciting! <laughs> well, I said I would keep this welcoming speech very, 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 very short. I know all of you wonderful artists performing at our arts festival and the other artists who came along to enviously support these artists and the artists close friends most of whom were also artists and also some of the artists family members obligated to attend and maybe even some actual non-artist members of the general public. <laughs> we laugh, of course. <laughs> but it could happen. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I know you all want to get this reception on the way and have a chance to meet each other and talk about yourselves. <laughs> the seeing is hearing is believing festival programs are here on the counter by the bar. A wine! <laughs> well, yes, of course there's wine. This is an art event. <clears throat> So thank you all, everyone, and be sure to get a copy of the program. <laughs> At least she was honest. I already got a few programs. Thanks, Mary. Isn't this exciting? You're finally here. here let me hug you. Uh, not, 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 not now. Not here. I'm, I'm trying to see the program. Of course. How did it turn out? Look, 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 look at this. Look, look at this. David Humphreys gets the front cover and two whole pages just to himself. Dave is one of the main acts. And, and see this, this, this Lola Montalto person? But she's famous. Yeah, she got three pages. And look, a picture of her that takes up a whole page. A whole page. It's a nice picture. Who cares? It's a whole page. Look, look. This arsehole. One page. Idiot. One page. Poser. Page and a half with three photos. Knobhead. Knobhead. And this guy that no one's ever heard of. Fergal, where are you? Oh, shit, where am I? Uh, uh, here, 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 it, inside, next to the last page, here I am. Down here in the sideshows, cameos, and vignettes panel. And there are, what, four, six, eight, eight, eight. Eight of us crammed into the lower half of one page. So what's that? I get uh, a sixteenth. A sixteenth of a page. Stop obsessing over how much space you got in the program. You're an artist. I promise you, Mary that every artist here, the first thing they did when they got the program was check how much space they got. They're all egocentric knobheads, all of them. You too. Fergal. No, oh, speaking of knobheads. Fergal, Mary. Hi, Dave. Whoa, it's so great to see you both. <laughs> I hear you got your PhD, Dave. Congratulations. Yeah, it's going to be published as a book. Brilliant. Will normal people be able to read it? Ha <laughs> Fergal. Same as ever. How are you, man? Just fine, Dave. And uh, what are you doing here? I'm performing. You are? Yes, Dave. I'm an artist too, remember? I heard you'd finally given up the art game. Oh, you did. Oh, David! David Humphreys, that link! Lola Montalto. Oh, have you seen the festival program? No. 
Oh, you must be so delighted with the light. You're on the cover, David. Oh, really? <laughs> As if you didn't know. I don't concern myself with these things. Sure. I don't want to get caught up in uh, ego trips. Yeah, right. Oh, we must catch up, David. I feel it is so important for us major artists to relate with each other at these events. Yeah, my work speaks for itself, Lola, I feel. Oh, of course, darling. And can I just say, I feel that that needs to be said. Well, someone needs to say it. You say it, go on, say it. All right, then. Art speaks for itself. There, I said it. Oh, wonderful. But you are saying it, David, so how is it speaking for itself? Huh? Whoa! Did you see the photo of me? Oh, full page. Uh, this from your studio in Milan. Oh, yes. I love the way the Mediterranean light falls over the lines of my naked back. So naked. With elegance, I am oozing, yes? Oozing, yes. Your scoptophilic intent is obviously dialectically challenging the non-binary gender identities inherent in the male gaze. Oh, yes. Look. Look at me. Uh, may I see the program for a moment? Oh, of course, darling. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Fergal Green. I'm also an artist. Oh, an Irish artist. <laughs> oh, it's so true, isn't it? <laughs> what, uh, what, what's so true? Just look at your Irish skin, so pasty white, and your cheeks so rosy, like a little cherub you are. <laughs> so partly plump, only your missing little uh, cherub wings. Oh yes, I just can't resist squeezing you. Uh, oh, please, oh, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good, good, uh, good. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm making a joke, silly man. You do not have little cherub wings. Of, of, of course not, no, no. No wings, no. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming to see my work. Actually, Miss Montalto, I'm here to perform my own work. Oh, I am not seeing you in the program. Oh, I'm in there, just uh, tucked in the back in sideshows, cameos and vignettes. Oh, how lovely for you. I think it's fabulous to that arts organizers are beginning to reach out to the less recognized, less established, less whatever, but less. <sighs> yeah, less, 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 whatever. That's, Hello, that's Miss Montalto. I'm so thrilled to meet you. I really enjoy all uh, uh, you. Oh, thank you. And you are? I'm Mary Darcy. Oh, you're so beautiful, Mary. Oh. You must be Fergal's lover. He's sex muse. He's diva. Surely he's woozing with lust and desire for you, yes? Well, I don't know if easing is... Mary is my assistant. Assistant? For my work, you see, I'm uh, performing a reimagining of Hugo Ball. What? For uh, my performance, it's uh, very interesting. It reimagines Hugo Ball. Oh yes, Hugo Ball. The Dada artist. Oh yes, of course, Cabaret Voltaire. I'm using a lot of technology. Oh. It's a work of endurance art. Mm, my work is exploring the... I will be pushing myself beyond. B beyond? Uh, where is this? Achieving a vision through the mind-altering effects of the G-force of my centrifuge. A centrifuge? It's a big metal drum. Virgo will be whirling round and round inside it. Oh. Yes, uh, spinning. Very, very uh, fast and long and fast. Uh, I see, it's kinetic. Uh, yes, uh, mm. with kinesis, it oozes. Oh, oozes. Uh, oh. Yes, so you'll come along to see me, right? <laughs> My dollhouse performance is on earlier, you know, so you'll, you'll have to come to mine first. Ah, well, I don't know. I've got a lot of safety. Checks. Yes, of course. We'll be home. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, other than I could have been better framed on the front cover, they did a cracking job on the program. And a nice coup to be profiled in the curator's notes. <clears throat> David Humphreys, PhD. Masterly inhabits a series of evolving corporeal intersexual body statements interrogating its way through a tableau of radical performative ruptures that challenge behavioral identity transversals. Yeah. Bullshit. Mm, yes, I feel it is very good. In fairness, my new work is unpacking probing modes of gender fluidity. My new work is unpacking fluid modes of gender probing. Lola, we uh, certainly need more. Probing. Yes, probing, David. Passionate probing. Steaming. Sweating. Heaving. Interactive. Subject. To subject. Bodies. Sensual. Site specific. At the reception. For a performance art festival. Oh, yes. yes. Woo. <laughs> so there. So there what? Did you learn anything? Just what I knew already. 
PhD Dave is spouting more academic jargon than ever. The famous Lola Montalto is batshit crazy. Mary is Mary. And the whole scene is 90% bullshit. Yet, you are part of the scene. No? No? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. You were? What? Never mind. Ah, so I see here's a list. And next is way, way back eight years ago to the beginning of your career as an artist. Oh, art college. Correct. My grad show performance. Yeah, indeed. You have dressed up as a ringmaster. For the pompous circus of profound artistic statements, yes. Ah, and see, there you are, in your big top hat in the center ring. Ah, oh, I love that ringmaster costume. Dave and I had the whole space done up like a circus tent. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the center ring, the final act in my pompous circus of profound artistic statements. I present to you, Sparky, <laughs> the little Jack Russell of artistic integrity. He is performing for you in the pink ballerina tutu of compromise. Oh yes, prepare to gasp in astonishment as Sparky, the brave Jack Russell of artistic integrity, will now jump through the hoop of lofty dreams. Jump, Sparky! I said jump, Sparky! <laughs> yes, uh, I said, uh, Sparky, the little Jack Russell of artistic integrity, in the pink ballerina turtle of compromise, will now jump through the hoop of lofty dreams. Now jump, boy! Jump. What's this? Sparky will not jump. Ah, but what if we dangle this in front of him? Ah, ha, yes, this will get his interest. Indeed, Sparky, the Jack Russell of artistic integrity, is encouraged by this sausage. This beachy, beachy, chunky sausage. The semiotic sausage of reward and recognition. Here, boy. Here, boy, see this. See the sausage. Oh, yummy sausage. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, what's this? Sparky is stopping. He's squatting down. He's squinting. He seems intent on something heat. Oh, no! No! <laughs> As you can see and uh, smell, Sparky, the Jack Russell of artistic integrity, has relieved himself. Before your very eyes, he has deposited several steaming stools of defiance right here in the middle of the center ring and walked away from the hoop of lofty dreams. No jumping hoops for him. So how about a big hand for Sparky? And so, ladies and gentlemen, thus ends the pompous circus of profound artistic statements. Well, I hope you're happy. I am, um, I'm very happy. I didn't know you were going to make Sparky shit in front of everyone. Yeah, I didn't know either. It was great. Just give me back my dog. <laughs> oh, Sparky, did my demented son make you poo-poo in front of all these weird art people? I, I didn't make him. He did that himself. Yeah, sure. I am so glad your father isn't around to see this. I'm taking Sparky home. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye, ma'am. <laughs> Fergal, man, hey, that was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it went really well, Dave. The audience was so freaked out, it was outrageous. <laughs> yeah, it worked even better than I thought it would. I think the lecturers are absolutely stunned. It was so in their face. Good, I hope so. I just wanted to shock everyone and make them laugh. <laughs> well, you certainly did that. Oh, wait, Dave, just just watch where you're stepping. I have to... I have to scrape these turds and, and, and put them in the bag. Oh, uh, yeah, talk about yeah. suffering for your art. <sighs> if I was famous, these turds in this bag would be worth a lot of money. <laughs> for sure. Oh, Fergal, uh, this is my cousin, Mary. I brought her along. Oh, hi, Mary. Uh, thanks for coming. No, thank you. It was great. <laughs> right. Uh, listen, I'm going to go talk to O'Neill about my thesis. Right. Uh, I'll catch up to you after. Sure. You're a very funny man. Uh, thank you. <laughs> What's your name again? Mary. Mary Darcy. I'm Dave's cousin. Right. How did you get the dog to poop at <laughs> just the right moment? <laughs> it was it was chance. Really? Just chance? And I've been stuffing him with biscuits all day. <laughs> it was the weirdest, sickest thing ever. I loved it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe we can have coffee sometime or something. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'd like that. I bet you've never been asked out by a guy dressed in a ringmaster costume before. <laughs> well, I have, actually. Oh? But not by one holding a bag of dog shit. <laughs> it's irresistible, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
was eight years ago. Mary was so lovely then. Ah, she still is. Yeah, yeah, she, she still is. It is a pity that she is always nagging you about your relationship. She's just insecure. Mm, maybe too polite. What do you mean? Well, for example, she had to say that you would attend Lola Montero's performance, and that made you very angry. People always want you to go to their shows. <laughs> and you don't want them to come to yours? Okay, I, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get me to... To what? You're trying to get... Never mind. What's next on the list? <laughs> it is a flashback to Lola's dollhouse performance. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> the main draw at the festival. Oh, look. The gallery is packed. And there you are. And there we are. Arriving in the back. <laughs> to a Mac power book. Ooh, power book. Yeah. <laughs> Any dangerous stress on my heartbeat and the machine will automatically shut off. You sure? Absolutely. And once I reach the rapture point, it will blow the audience's minds. <laughs> How, Fergal? How what? How will you blow their minds? I mean, like, you'll, you'll be inside the thing and your audience will just be standing there watching. Yeah, that, that's the externals. External? Yeah, 
externals, but what really matters is what happens internally. Internally. In my head, Mary. In your head. Yes, in my head. I don't get it. It's conceptual. Virgo! Oh, great. Virgo! Where are you? I know you're here. Hello, Mary. Hello, Miss Gray. Has my son roped you into another one of his sick performances? Yeah. You're wasting your time, Mary. Oh, it's important, though, so I Virgo! Think... What? What, ma'am? Can't you see I'm working? Working? Working. Wanking more like it. Get out of that thing. No. What do you mean, no? Have I ever once interrupted you when you're at work? I don't work in your garage using your electricity. We have a deal, ma'am. Exactly, and you're not doing your part. I have a deadline. Tell her, Mary. Uh, leave Mary out of this. I came home tonight, and I can barely get in the door. Look at this. I tripped over this stupid thing. Those are parts I need. Why can't you just for once be a little supportive? You know how hard it is to be an artist. Oh, uh, you're not an artist. I am. No, you're not. I am. How much did you make from your art last year? I had a lot of costs. You made nothing. Typical, ma'am. Reduced everything to a price everything tag. Everything has a price tag. Not everything. Oh, uh, you can't go on sponging off everyone. I do. Oh, uh, you do too. Virgil, he's an arsehole. He's an arsehole. I feel sorry for no, you. you. Don't. You feel sorry for yourself. When are you going to wake up? I am awake. You turn 30 next week and have achieved what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He can make people laugh. Oh, does he? Remember the time he used his body as a pink? My self-portrait. You ruined a carpet with your arse. Or when, <laughs> when you, uh, he made himself a human yoga. I dropped myself from a third floor window. You broke two ribs. But people laugh. So what? No one cares, Virgil. Well, thanks, ma'am. I feel a lot better. If your father was still around, he'd be appalled that I let you waste eight years on this tragic fixation. This tragic fixation is my life. Exactly. Or leave me alone. I swear, Virgil, this is the last project that you build in my house. Yeah. Well, I have news for you, ma'am. I don't need you, so fuck off. <gasps> Oh, all right. After this, you are out. Do you hear me? You hear me, Virgo? Oh, Mary, if you know what's good for you, you'll drop him. I can't just take the stupid thing. <laughs> you see? You see what I have to deal with? Virgo. Fucker. Virgo. I don't know, Mary. All I want to do is, is move people, make them laugh or cry or something, but year after year, nobody, nobody cares. Virgil, is your mom right? No, she can throw me out, but I'm not going to give up. I mean, about us. What? Oh, are you thinking of giving up on me as well? I'm thinking about our relationship. I really don't need this right now, Mary. More and more, you're just becoming a... Everyone is an obstacle. Seems like you'd all be happier if I just, just end it all. Maybe I should. Hmm, <laughs> well, that was revealing. Was it? Huh. You don't think so? My man never believed me. Oh? She's jealous. She loves to see me fail. You think that about a lot of people. Well, it's true, isn't it? Is it? Isn't it? Oh, you think the whole world is revolving around you the whole time. Everyone has nothing better to do than focus on you, watching you, hoping that you fail? I just want to be recognized. I deserve it, don't I? I don't know. I'm just following the list. Oh, look. <sighs> Oh, the next scene is a uh, fantasy. <laughs> is this the two women in the black leather and they're wrapping me in the chains? In the chains, and yes, the, yes. Yeah, no, no, they, I'm afraid not. Oh. <laughs> but it is a fantasy very familiar to you. It goes like this. I see now that as an artist I am total bullshit compared to him. Yeah. Yes. I should never have put him down. I should never have called him best even though he was. I should never have asked him about our relationship. I abandoned him when he needed me most. I gave up on him too. My own flesh and blood. He was a mighty god with golden wings. There he was, all those years heroically inhabiting his corporeal body in a series of radical performative ruptures. I have no idea what you just said, but I feel it's true. Me too. Oh, remember, remember his grad show performance when he had that little dog? My dog, Sparky. And he pooped on the floor. So powerful, that poop. We should have saved that poop. That poop would be worth a fortune, though. <laughs> so he could fuck me all night long, fucking and fucking and fucking. Well, of course.
course we all do. <laughs> ah, a very common fantasy. Imagining what will be said about you at your own funeral. Yeah. They'll be so sorry they didn't recognize my talent. Mm, will they? They'll realize how important I was after I'm dead. Just like you. <coughs> like me? Sure. You did your Karawani performance, chanting inside your cardboard suit in the Cabaret Voltaire. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty weird and <laughs> totally freaky, you know. <laughs> and you had your rapture, a vision, and then died in obscurity. I died in Switzerland. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> it was only years later that the whole modern wor art world woke up and realized that you had single-handedly created performance art. So, that is how you see it. Yes. You changed the world. No, Mr. Green. I changed. <laughs> Here, I will show you. It is not on the list, but wait, you can... Wait, it is on the list. That is very weird. <laughs> Here is another fantasy scene. This time, we go back to Zurich, exactly 100 years ago, on the tiny stage of the Cabaret Voltaire. Now, my girlfriend... Oh, Emmy Henning. Yeah, that's right. Emmy is on the stage introducing me. Thank you, thank you, Emily Vaughn. And now, at the Cabernet Voltaire, I have the pleasure to introduce something very mystical. <laughs> yes, as you can see, it is necessary that the artist Hugo Ball be carried onto the stage. The hairball is inside his cardboard suit, appearing for you as the magic fisher. Oh. Are you in position now, Hairball? No, not yet, Emmy, not yet. Do not begin. What is wrong? <coughs> the music stand. I, I must have the music stand. It, it has my birds on them. Huh? Oh, yeah, the stand. Position the stand. <laughs> what? I, I must see my birds. Oh, yeah. Of course you go. Shall I set the stand here? A, a, a little to the left. Is this is good? No, no, further downstage. Like this? Downstage, Emmy, downstage. Do you not know the difference between downstage and upstage? I'm sorry. I swear, sometimes I think you would like to see me fail. Here, is this good? Yeah, that will do. Good. I am now ready. <laughs> Let us begin. Now? Yes, now. Begin, Emmy, begin. Und now, meine Damen und Herren, prepare to be mystified at the Cabaret Voltaire as the great artist Hugo Ball now performs a revolutionary sound poem in a language all his own that he made up. An incantation he calls Karawani. Karawani? What? Karawani. It's pronounced Karawani. 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 It's a made-up word, Hugo. What does it matter how I say it? The pronunciation is very important, Emmy. I have explained this many times. Do not be an obstacle. As an artist, I finally have a profound artistic vision for a substantive, creative, kinetic performance. Yeah, Hugo. I cannot overexpress this. I am this. sorry, Hugo, but the people are waiting. You are on the stage. What? Uh, oh, yes, uh, quite right. Oh, this is very bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you may introduce me. <laughs> My madame and Helen, prepare to be mystified as Hugo Ball now performs a revolutionary sound poem in a language all his own. An incantation he calls...
up inside my own head. Oh, and yet, I am beyond my head. Oh, this is a vision. This is rapture. <laughs> It was so intense, you know. <laughs> what I saw, what I realized was beyond words, Mr. Green. I looked down on myself and saw what I really was. I saw the real me. The real you. Yeah. Underneath all the bitterness of my petty ego, I was nothing but an insignificant... Yes! I get it! Huh? It's exactly what I'm doing. That's why you're here showing me these things, right? Because like you, I am going to change the world. Uh, well, I don't think that is what... Oh, oh, this is fantastic. I see clearly now. Well, what do you see? That if I just keep going, I will make really great art. What is great art? You know, stuff that makes a big impact. <laughs> so, spinning round and round unconscious while your heart is giving out, this is making a big impact? Of course. I'm having this vision, aren't I? Are you? Yes. Achieving this rapture. Oh, this is fantastic. What's next? Hmm. Next scene? Yeah, go on. Ah, oh, this is going to be interesting. We now go back eight years ago. Art school. Ah, indeed. <gasps> ah, and there you are. One red shoe, one black shoe, a pierced eyebrow, pierced nose, and a Ralph Stedman cartoon freshly tattooed on your left buttock. Still have that. Of course. Mm -hmm. And oh, here comes your very best friend, David Humphrey. How's your thesis going, Fergal? I stopped working on it. What a wine fest. It has to be submitted next week, you know? You know what the thesis really is, Dave? Ah, it's just another hoop we have to jump through. No. It's all these pompous arseholes having to prove that they are somehow creative. Sure. To justify their existence, the academics have to keep coming up with new sets of incomprehensible jargon. So, we all know that this is what this education is about mostly, learning the jargon. And you can just go along with it. Well, what else can we do? Refuse to jump through their hoops. <laughs> Fuck them, Dave! Hey man, well, why are you getting so upset? My final grad show performance. <laughs> it was brilliant, your circus ring thing with Sparky pooping on the floor. People were totally shocked. They pissed themselves laughing. Not the people that matter, Dave. Not the people that matter. What do you mean? Look. Your assessment? Yeah, read it. Go on. Um, Virgil Green's excessive pandering to his rowdy cohort of unqualified spectators with crude efforts at indecorous humour merely served to weaken the biopolitical transversals he only feebly indicated in the temporal framework of fecal release. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this is awful. It's vicious. They really marked you down. You barely passed. Yeah, it, it's a joke. This is what I think of that fucking assessment. Okay, okay, okay. It's not over yet. I tried so hard, Dave. Everything worked perfectly. There's still time to submit a decent thesis. This is less than half the total mark. All I wanted to do was make regular people laugh. Okay, okay, so here's what you do. You just say what you have to say, but you say it in their jargon. You know, something like... Uh, this performance sought to subvert the nexus of social status potentialities semiotically encoded in a sentient canine reality, uh, depositing biological waste in a bold transgression gesture. Transgression? Yeah. You're transgressing on purpose. You should write that down. No, there's, there's no point. Hey, I'm trying to help you. Oh, it's so easy for you, Dave. What do you mean? The jargon just oozes out of you, Dave. You have a knack for total bullshit. What? What are you saying? You're the only one who gets frustrated with all this crap? It just all happens to you. That's because I work at it, Fergal. You know what I mean. No. No, I don't know what you mean. That's your problem. I don't have a problem. I have a plan. Oh, big plan. Yeah. And I'm carrying it out. Get the, th the thesis done. If fucking jargon is what it takes to get a real career going, then that's what I'll do. And if you were smart, Fergal, that's what you'll do too. Don't tell me what to do. I'm trying to help you. I don't need your help. But it's the Dave. only thing you can do. Well, just fuck off, all right? Fuck off. Fine, I will. Oh, Mr. Green. It seems you lose friends on purpose. Dave was not my friend. <laughs> oh, yes, he was. Well, maybe I don't need those kind of friends. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe. 
Are you seeing the same scenes I am? Yes. You submitted your thesis? Yes. On your past? Barely. And it was in plain English. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> then you went on to eight years of driving away all your friends until the list included everyone. Everyone except for the one person who was prepared to stand by you. And even she was begin... Oh. Hey. That, that's a heart monitor. Yeah, yeah, it is flashing. My heart must be under extreme stress. Oh, yes, uh, severely so. The situation is beyond critical. So the safety program, right? It'll initiate and it'll turn off the central Ah, we come to the last flashback. But the safety program... Oh, yeah, it is just before you let the audience in for this, your last performance. My last? Ah. And there is Mary. Oh, no, not, not, no. <laughs> she is still loyally at your side. Wait, stop. I, I don't want to see this. Oh, you must. No, please, not, not this. This is on the list. You must watch. How do I look? You look great, Virgo. Here, let me help you with the goggles. Careful. Just get it. Just get it. Just get it. Just get it. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Is there much of an audience? There are people outside. How many? I don't know. Uh, your mom's come along. Ma'am. She doesn't count. She's family. It still looks like a good crane. Is Lola Montalto going to come? She said she would. That means nothing, Mary. Absolutely. Fuck off. Performers always say they'll go to other people's shit. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> well, we saw her performance. Well, some of it before you, you knocked the walls over. Yeah, I really fucked that up. You don't know that, Virgo. The place is packed and uh, I don't think she could see us. See me. Me! You? Yes, me! It doesn't matter about you. It only matters if she saw the pasty white artist from Sideshow's cameos and vignettes was there. What only counts? You know, the, the thing. What thing? The thing, the, the thing, thing, the art thing. Here's how the thing works, Mary. I do my thing, right? And if you come and see it, and I see that you see it, then I, in fairness, must go and see your thing. The in crowd, circle jerking the in crowd. And that is how the arts survive. With luck, no one will be here but the regular idiots. Well, I'll be here. I'm talking about people that matter, Mary. I don't matter. No, not to my career. Look, let's just do this. I'll get down into position. You let the audience in. Virgo. Virgo. What? I want to say something. No, wait. No. I need to say this and I need to say it now. Fine, say it. Earlier tonight, you introduced me as your assistant. Aren't you? I think I'm more than that, aren't I? Well, well I, I don't know. Physically. Phys oh, you mean... Yes! This is the relationship thing. Yes. That's what I mean. Well, you like it, don't you? Our relationship? That's... Physically? Not the point. What's not the point? You really don't know. No, look, Mary, just say what you mean. I'm under pressure here. I'm saying I can't let it go on like this. Like what? Like being an assistant to a self-obsessed asshole. My ma put this in your head. No, you put it in my head. I did. With all your bitterness. Me? Yes, you. Are you crazy, Mary? Maybe I am, to be with you. I'm about to start the most important performance of my career. And the last one was the most important, and the one before that. So? So that's all you really care about, isn't it? Right now, yeah. You just don't get it. Yeah, what? We used to have a laugh, Virgo. You used to be funny. You used to get joy out of things, but over the last couple of years, you just wallow more and more in your miserable pit. Oh, poor me, I'm a genius. Well, what do you expect, Mary? You know, it's not getting any easier. I'm not academic, I'm not sexy, no grants, no funding, and I don't even try to play the fucking game anymore. So yeah, I'm a bit down. And in all fairness, at this stage, you know, I should, I should be suicidal. Just see. Right, so now you're fucking up my thing. I'm not fucking up your thing. Yes, you are. You are fucking this up. It's you that fucks up, Virgo. You fuck up everything. Fine. Fine. Then let me fuck this up then. Just let the audience in and my stupid fucking mother in. And when I say so, start the program. Please. Please. Fine. And then you can fuck off. What? I said then you can fuck off and let me down like everyone else. Virgo, you're being an ass. You know, a lot of times I only fuck you because you let me. No, 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 wait, 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 I'm, I, I'm sorry, look, I, I, I'm just angry, it, I need you to, you need to start the thing, you have to turn it on, please, please.
Do you want to talk about this? No. <laughs> I think you do. I, I get it, okay? Just leave me alone. I cannot, Mr. Green. I am part of you, remember? Yeah, right. We're in my head. <laughs> yeah, for the time being. The stop program? Oh, that? No. <laughs> I'm afraid it is not responding. The power book controlling it has stopped running the safety program. Let me guess. It's updating iTunes from the Apple Store. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you left it connected to the gallery Wi-Fi. Fucking Max, man. Yeah, yeah, you can add Max to your list. <laughs> sure. Why not? Hmm, maybe you did this on purpose. What? No, 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 of, of, of course not. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Oh, do you know what is happening right now in this moment out there in the gallery? I have a good idea. Let us see. Ah, yeah, there they are, still watching your rapture machine rotate. Ah, oh, come on, this is tedious. Ah, uh, with boredom I am oozing. I think it was meant to go on for so long. This is so stupid. Is this endless? It's programmed to turn itself off. When? I, I don't really know. Well, fine. Virgo, the great artist, can suffer for his art all he wants, but we don't have to suffer watching him. Right. Son or no son, I'm leaving. Yes, we were seen here, so we can go, yes? Yes, let's go and get a few scoops in. Oh, I was thinking of having sex in the car park. Oh. With you. Oh, sure. Excellent. You coming, Mary? What? Leave Fergal to his wank machine, Mary. Come on, I'll give you a spin home. Oh, thanks, Miss Green, just a sec. Well, this is it. We're done. Goodbye. No! Wait! Mary! Mary, please don't! Don't leave me! Turn off the machine! Come back, Mary! Mary! Uh, she cannot hear you, Mr. Green. But is there someone out there that can stop it? No, man, there is no one. No audience. Your former friends held out the longest, and in the end, even they left. And anyway, you told them to leave you. Ah, here it is. The portal. <laughs> yeah, the final portal to the other side. Wait a minute. If I pass through, I can't come back, right? Indeed. That is how it works, Mr. Green. But you... You go, well, you had your rapture and you came back. I did. Then let me come back from mine as well. It's, it's only fair. <laughs> Mr. Green, I used only cardboard on the music stand. I chanted and chanted until I finally fell down and broke my chance. <laughs> and my nose. <laughs> Whereas you, you are much, much cleverer. <laughs> and have placed your body at the mercy of your technology. Wait, wait a minute, this... This can't be right. Yeah, it is what it is. But my life, my, my work, my, my art, me! <laughs> Who knows? But this is my rapture. Aren't I supposed to have a, a realization, a, a lesson, or something? Have you not been watching the flashbacks? Yes. <laughs> so, you tell me what lessons you have. Okay, okay. Well, I may think my head is stuck spinning in a barrel right now, but. Maybe my head is stuck on my ass. Huh? Very true. And my ego. What about it? Well, it all comes down to my ego, right? I mean, like all egos, it's it's demanding and insecure and ugly and tedious and generally not very pleasant. Mm, that is very true. I've become a total shit of whining, bitter, selfish shit. And for, in the end, it's all... Illusion. Ego is illusion, right? Is, isn't that right? <laughs> Correct. Ah, I see you are legally dead. Oh well, it is time to pass through. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, my feet. I, I can't stop my feet. I'm, I'm moving. Farewell, Mr. Day. Wait! Wait, wait, I, I, I will change. I, I will change. I promise I'll change. I'll pull my head out of my ass and I'll make it up to everyone. And, and I'll get back to where I started, just trying to make people laugh and maybe ask some questions, but without shoving it down their throats. Yes, this is, that, that's noble. That's art. That, that's good art. That's what I'll do. No! 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 Is 
an artist no one's ever heard of. You've been listening to the rapture of Hugo Ball. He's a genius no one's ever heard of. A radio play by Roger Gray. He's an artist no one's ever heard of. Featuring the talents of James M. O'Connor. He's a genius no one's ever heard of.